Midwater trawling for herring started to increase in 2000-2001. One midwater trawler is up to 165 feet long and can hold about 800,000 pounds of fish. The net is about a football field long and six stories high. The size of the net and the small mesh create so much drag that it usually requires two midwater trawlers to tow it. Because of the size of the gear, midwater trawlers can interfere with other fisheries such as lobstering. These interactions are in fact currently under investigation. Just as in other fisheries, midwater trawlers are required to carry observers to monitor what is being caught and discarded. In most trawl fisheries, it can be difficult to quantify every fish that is caught, but in the herring fishery, it is near impossible without further investment in technology and observer training. Protected species such as whales can be caught and killed during midwater trawl fishing activities. Furthermore, this and other bycatch can go entirely unobserved because the captain can dump his net while it is still in the water prior to observers being able to identify and describe its contents. At times, there can be so much fish in the net that a person could walk on top of it. The catch is pumped onto the boat instead of the net being brought on deck. Once on the midwater trawler, the fish slide down a system of chutes and grates so quickly that some fish go unobserved. Levels of monitoring of midwater trawling from the time they start fishing to when they land their catch need to be increased. The sampling levels of the current programs fluctuate, but they are not high enough to extrapolate across the entire fishery. Roughly 95% of the trips are entirely unobserved. Although midwater trawlers may be fishing in accordance with current regulations, questions regarding what is actually caught and discarded remain unanswered. Unlike other fisheries where the net is brought on deck to remove the fish, midwater trawlers leave the net in the water and pump their catch on board. This allows the captain to dump part or all of the catch while it is still in the water without any chance for it to be recorded by observers. Once on the deck, the fish follow a system of chutes and grates to the fish hold. Anything that is too large to fit through the grates is sorted out and discarded overboard. Fish about the size of a herring, such as a juvenile haddock and river herring, are more difficult to sort and will end up in the fish hold mixed in with the sea herring. Bycatch caught and discarded at sea could be accurately reported by increasing the percentage of observers on midwater trawlers and prohibiting dumping of fish. Tractor trailers line up waiting to be filled. Just as the fish can be pumped unobserved into the boat, they are pumped unobserved into trucks or fish plants. At no point in the entire process are the fish actually weighed. Unlike every other fishery, figures of what is landed are estimates and are done on the honor system. The fishery needs immediate changes such as the implementation of weighmaster systems with flow scales that actually weigh the fish as they are pumped and port samplers to quantify and qualify the catch and certify the weighouts. For effective management, it is critical to initiate change today.